hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel in today's recipe i am making the most flavorful fish tacos ever hope you guys are ready for this one but before i show you guys how to make this recipe be sure to like comment subscribe and let's begin All right guys, to begin, I am going to start by making my sauce to get that out the way. So we're going to start by adding this mayo to a large or small bowl. Just add that in there. And next I am going to be adding in some sour cream. Just we're going to mix it. Okay, just add it on top of the mayo. And also the measurement will be below for you guys in the description box so be sure to check that out and here we have some sriracha sauce it's spicy so be careful if you don't want this to be spicy just use less okay so next i am going to be adding in some garlic powder and for a little you know zesty zest we're going to add some lime juice okay just pour some lime juice in there and once you're done you're going to give that a nice mix together All right, once I am done, I am going to cover that, place it in the fridge or on the side while I cook my fish. For today's fish, I am using mahi mahi. I believe that's how you say it. You can use whatever fish that you do like. By the way, I went to BJ's over the weekend and I had a fish taco. It was made with the exact same fish and I'm like, I have to make this. I love, 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 love the flavor on those tacos. So that's why I am making a taco for you guys. So that's why I am making a fish taco for you guys today. Okay, so here I am going to mix all of my dry seasonings together. So I am going to be adding cayenne pepper, chili powder, cumin, yes, some lemon pepper for some zesty, zesty flavor in there and salt and pepper we're going to give that a mix then we're going to season the fish All right, look how well seasoned our fish looks so far. I love it. So now we're going to set that on the side. We are moving on to our batter. Now to season the flour, I am using Creole seasoning, paprika, and a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. And we're going to give that a nice mix just like that. And for today's recipe, I am using club soda to make the batter. That's why you guys saw the, um, the fish in the beginning. The batter was so flaky. It just looks so good. So when you're making fish, try to use club soda for the breading. When you're mixing the flour, of course, it just come out so beautiful. I just love the way it came out. So we're going to give that a nice mix. Once we're done, we're going to set it aside. Moving on, I am going to get ready to add my oil to a frying pan. You can deep fry these if you want. You can bake them, you can air fry them. Basically, you can do anything you want to do with them. 
Once my oil hits about 350, we are going to take the fish, dredge it to the batter, let the excess batter drain for a little bit before you add it to your oil and place it there. Don't move it, okay? Let it fry for about four minutes per side. Once one side is nice and golden brown, your four minutes is up, just flip it over and cook the other side for another four minutes. Now look how beautiful this is the texture I was talking about y'all. I just love the way it came out. So we're going to place those on a cooling rack, allow the oil to drain a little bit. I love, love, love me a nice golden brown flaky fish, okay? So now I am going to toast my tortillas. So now we are going to plate these bad boys. So I am using cabbage. You can use purple cabbage only if you want, but I'm using this mixture of white and purple and some carrots in there as well. Then I am going to be adding in some tomatoes. And basically guys, this is the recipe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Leave me a comment below if you're going to try it out. This definitely reminds me of the fish tacos that I had at BJ's over the weekend. I hope you guys try this out for your family because it's delicious. Also leave a like if you enjoyed the recipe. Subscribe if you know and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.